the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Progressive Liberal Party leaders said if successful in the next general election, they will reduce value-added tax to 10% for one year as part of an economic plan that involves supporting a minimum wage increase, significantly expanding social assistance in the country, and reducing the cost of energy by 30%. PLP leader Philip Brave Davis and Deputy Leader Chester Cooper unveiled their economic plan at the Balmoral Club yesterday. They were accompanied by candidates who have been ratified for the next general election. Mr. Cooper said a Davis administration would decrease VAT for one year, after which the rate would be reassessed. Although Mr. Cooper said VAT will be reduced to 10 percent across the board, it is not clear if the party plans to remove VAT exemptions from breadbasket and other items. The party has traditionally advocated for maintaining a few exemptions as possible so as to keep the rate low and broad. The government's rollout of its COVID-19 vaccination program will not proceed as rapidly as previously announced, with only 20,000 doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine expected in the country this Wednesday. On Friday, officials said these vaccines, a gift from the government of India, would have arrived in the country yesterday. Due to logistical issues overseas, the shipment has been delayed until Wednesday, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis said during a national address yesterday. Dr. Minnis also said the government is expected to receive 33,600 doses out of 100,800 doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine purchased through the World Health Organization Pan American Health Organization's COVAX facility before the end of March. A search is ongoing for five Cubans who are presumed missing after 19 others were picked up, including a deceased male during a joint law enforcement operation in the southern Bahamas last week. According to the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, the 19 Cubans were picked up during a joint effort with Operation Turks and Caicos and the United States Coast Guard. On Wednesday, March 3rd, six individuals were captured after being spotted on Anguilla Key and taken aboard a U.S. Coast Guard cutter. While in the area, the U.S. CG vessel also saw 18 Cubans on Quesal. HMBS Derwood Knowles, under the command of Senior Lieutenant Jataro McDonald, was dispatched to investigate. After arriving in the area, the RVDF conducted an extensive search of the surrounding keys, waters, and inlet for the additional individuals. The RBDF patrol craft met the USCG vessel on Thursday shortly after 2 p.m. to receive the six individuals. In observance of the United Nations International Women's Day 2021 today, the International Federation of Women's Lawyers Grand Bahama Chapter announced plans to highlight senior justice Estelle G. Gray Evans. Women in leadership achieving an equal future in a COVID-19 world is this year's theme. Freeport attorney Hadassah Swain reads in international news. Fully vaccinated Americans can gather with other vaccinated people indoors without wearing a mask or social distancing, according to long-awaited guidance from federal health officials. The recommendations also say that vaccinated people can come together in the same way, in a single household, with people considered at low risk for severe disease, such as the case of vaccinated grandparents visiting healthy children and grandchildren. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced the guidance today. This guidance is designed to address a growing demand as more adults have been getting vaccinated and wondering if it gives them greater freedom to visit family members, travel, or do other things like they did before the COVID-19 pandemic swept the world last year. There are very few female truck drivers in Zimbabwe, but Molly Manatsi doesn't like to be singled out for her gender. It has always been known as a male job, but don't say I am a female driver. We are just drivers. We do the same, insisted the 31-year-old Zimbabwean truck driver whose income helps take care of relatives who have just lost jobs due to COVID-19. From driving trucks and fixing cars to encouraging girls living with disabilities to finding their places in society, women in Zimbabwe are refusing to be defined by their gender or circumstance even as the pandemic hits them hardest and imposes extra burdens. As International Women's Day is marked around the world, Zimbabwe's women celebrate the progress they have made in tackling discrimination in the workplace and acknowledging more effort is necessary. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A robust high-pressure system north of the area will generate strong to near-gale breezes along with hazardous maritime conditions across the island chain through tonight. Small craft operators are urged to remain in port and beachgoers should refrain from entering the water due to gusty winds, high seas, rough surf, and the presence of dangerous rip currents. Motorists and pedestrians should exercise caution while traversing coastal roadways, especially the fishing Road in Grand Bahama and the Glass Window Bridge in Lilithra. 
For all areas, it'll be partly cloudy to cloudy, mild and windy, with light passing showers this afternoon turning cool tonight. Small craft operators should remain in port. Winds north-northeast to east-northeast at 20 to 30 knots. Seas 4 to 7 feet near shore, building 8 to 12 feet offshore. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 74 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 63. The sun will set this afternoon at 614 and will rise tomorrow morning at 625.